Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in one day video, or what I ate in one day video, because, I don't know, I just feel like doing it. And in spirit of Halloween, I'm actually wearing some cat ears, because, you know, why not? Okay, so I'm going to just take you to my kitchen. Okay, so the first thing I did was I made my smoothie, and what I did was I chopped some bananas up, and I also took some frozen berries. These are just from Waitrose. Blackberries, black currants, red currants, and strawberries. Yeah. And I also just took some basic apple juice. Now, this is from Concentrate, which I don't really want just because it has added sugar. But um, I bought some new apple juice and I'm going to use that instead. But just I need to use all this up, so yeah. And that is how I made my smoothie. Just going to pour it into my cup. It's not going to be big enough for sure. Oh, let's not make a mess. Oh, I made a mess. Okay. There we go. Let's do a taste test. Mmm, it's really thick and it tastes really berry like. I like it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to make is my oat cakes. Um, I'm still drinking my smoothie, but alongside, I'm also going to make these. These are really good, like breakfast I think but um, I'm definitely going to eat something after this because I'm starving. So I just chopped some bananas up, I'm going to use these oat cakes and also just wash these blueberries which are organic which if you can buy organic then I definitely recommend that you do. Okay, so I've just made my oat cakes and I've also got my smoothie, so this is going to kind of be my brunch. Although it's kind of late now, but yeah, it's still going to be good. Okay, let's try out this oat cake. Now, I think I over mushed this like banana because it's a bit mushy. I don't really intend for it to go this mushy, but okay, let's just try it anyway. I think it's a really good snack. I mean, the blueberries are quite sour, but then you have like the sweetness of the banana, and then you kind of have like the really tame flavour of the oat cake, and yeah, I think it's really good. Mm. I like it. So, I'm just gonna go eat all of this, and then we'll get on to lunch. Okay, so this is everything I'm going to use to make my pizza today. So, first of all, we've got some super sweet sweet corn black olives, some vegan gourmet um, shreds, which is just a mozzarella and it's from Follow Your Heart, I think, and I got this at VegFest. Um, then some tomato and basil um, pasta sauce. This actually tastes really good as a substitute for tomato puree. And then red chilies, and then just some thin and crispy bases. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 210 degrees. So just gonna put this in. Go. Yeah. And um, we're just gonna let that sit for a while. Okay. So there is a bit of a fail right now. Um, I can't get these to open. So unfortunately, I just bought these, but I can't use them because I can't open them, and nobody's home. So <laughs> we're just not gonna use that. Um, so let's cook as sweet corn. So at the moment, I've just got the kettle boiling. And that just speeds up the boiling process. Um, and we're just going to cook this for four to five minutes. So basically, we're just going to open this, lift, squeeze, and fold. Squeeze, and then we tear it off some. Oh wow! I actually managed to get this open. That is just amazing because I can't open anything. <laughs> okay, so let's just turn the saucepan on. Water in and just wait until the water is bubbled. Okay, so now that it's finished boiling, let's put the sweet corn in. Okay, so whilst that is going, I'm just gonna get my pizza base out. So just grab a knife and just pour this all over. Now, 
Now I'm just going to cut these red chilies up as well. It's fine, but I'm just going to wash it really quickly. I don't really know what the best way to cut a chilli is, so I'm just going to wing it. Now let's just put the cheese on top. I actually just found some roasted pepper in my fridge. So I'm going to add this because it's going to be a bit of a sad pizza if all I have is chilli and sweet corn. So let's use this as well. So my sweet corn is now ready to take out. So let's just turn this up. All the sweet corn on top. I may have made a bit too much but I love sweet corn so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to leave the rest and eat that later on because this is a bit too much for me. Now we're going to put our, our pizza in the oven for about 8 minutes. Okay, so I just finished cooking my pizza. This is what it looks like. Mmm, so yummy. Can't wait to eat it. So I'm just going to cut it up and I'll do a taste test for you guys. Okay, so I'm just getting my pizza. Yummy. Oops, just dropped a sweet corn. So let's try it. Mm. I got the chilli in there. And yeah, the chilli is pretty mild, so it's actually okay. But it's really yummy. Um, I love that the cheese doesn't taste too, I don't know, like fermented, I don't know. This cheese flavour is really nice. Um, and I just think vegan cheese is like so much better than real cheese, like, yeah. So, I love this pizza and I'm going to eat this up and we'll do dinner. Hey guys, so I'm back for dinner. Um, now I'm just going to be cooking pasta, but my mum already made it for me, so I'm just going to heat it up and then add the rest of the sweet corn that I didn't use for my pizza. So yeah, let's get on to it. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the hub on. And I'm just going to add the rest of the sweet corn in, providing it comes out. using my trusty chopstick again because it helps me with everything. <laughs> and now I'm just going to add a bit of water because it's going to be a little bit dry to a measuring cup. Yeah, so when you reheat pasta it's usually, it usually gets really dry so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Okay, so pasta is done. quite a lot here so I might actually just take some of it to lunch uh, for work tomorrow so yeah so it's basically just broccoli chili sweet corn and then just a mixture of pasta and garlic I'm guessing just on top I'm gonna put some parsley I did have some fresh ones but they've gone a bit old now so I don't think I should use it so I'm just gonna use because I love parsley, I think it just tastes really good in pasta. Yeah. And that is it for my dinner. Yummy. Okay, so taste test time. I'm gonna take the broccoli as well with the pasta. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. It's a little bit dry actually. As I suspected, um, I did add some water, but I guess I should have added some more. Also, the flavour's a little bit bland. I mean, I guess I have to blame my mum's cooking for that, but yeah, it's good overall. Okay, so I'm probably going to have dessert after this because I'm always hungry, so see you. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. I have a glass of chocolate soy milk with my dinner, like, every single day. This is just to get some essential calcium and B12 and 
other nutrients in there, so yeah. Hey guys, so I got a bit hungry, so I just reheated some lentil soup that I had. I'm just going to tip the camera quickly. Oh well, yeah, I've got some carrots, um, I think that's some leeks as well, and green lentils in vegetable stock. So, let's try this. I just realised I zoomed in. really good. It has so much flavour, I just wish you could smell it right now. Like if there was smell vision that would be amazing. Um, I just love lentils, I find them so filling and amazing. And carrots are obviously really good for you. And yeah, overall it's really flavourful so I'm just going to eat all this and for dessert I'm thinking I'm going to eat some apples because I just bought some yesterday. They're just like these red apples and that's just what they're called. Yeah, so I'll see you then.